What is going on, friends? We got more World Cup coverage. We got PDC versus Morano. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce his name. But it actually looks like Ricardo bulky offense, and I used this in a live with Dennis the Menace, and he's facing Stall. But his team can actually beat Stall, because it's uh, Rocks Clefable, Subtoxic Tran, if I recall. Like, if it's the team that I'm thinking it is. Was it Spike Thorough? I don't remember. I think it was Double Stealth, which is really interesting. Like, it had Rocks on this and Rocks on this, if I recall correctly. Uh, Scarf Latios, Ash Greninja with Extra Sensory, which is a cool set for Keldeo, but it doesn't really help in the stall matchup. But he leads up with Clefable, he's gonna Moonblast turn 1. And we will see if he um, will go for Rocks turn 2, because that's a bit risky, PDC might stay in. I think this is PDC's first World Cup game, and of course he has to bring uh, Stall. <laughs> if you don't prep for Stall versus PDC, you deserve to lose. Oh, PDC's on East too, right? Because East last game they also brought Stall, TDK. Disgusting, get me out of here. I could see PDC going for Recover or something. Predicting the Clef to go for Rocks. And as a mid ground play, in case he goes for Moonblast or Sable, I won't take too much damage if he goes for Recover. Um, but it's gonna be uh, pretty tough for PDC to prevent Rocks from going up. Because eventually you will have to switch out uh, the Sable on the Clef. Yeah, so PDC is on US East. And which team is Morano? It sounds Spanish to me, but I'm not actually sure. Yeah, he just moves again. He doesn't want to risk anything. He doesn't want PDC staying on the rocks. I get it, but like. Yeah. Like, usually you play aggressive versus stall, but versus PC, you might think twice about before you. Like, bef you might think twice before you click rocks and the Sable is out. But yeah, this combination of um, Tren having Substitute and Magma Storm, which is gonna help him out. Oh, interesting, I just realized this is the same stall team that I brought last game. No Toxapex, they have Quagsire. I don't know what is about this Quagsire, but what is it for? He gets out the rocks, now they exchange them basically. CPU was all counts is gonna be soon. Oh man, hopefully not at the same time. I wanna record both games. Yeah, I mean, my Moreno's hazard control is the uh, only defog on Scarf Ladi. But yeah, this is actually not that bad of a matchup if he plays it well. Scarf Ladi can potentially cripple something with Trick. Subtoxic Trend can put in some work. And yeah, the Landris can also put in some work. I don't. I think it's Sky Strike Land. I don't remember 100%. Sh I don't know if I'm allowed to just show this team because I'm pretty sure I have this in my builder. So basically what I, what I was trying to say is Moreno is only going to be um, willing to defog I don't know why he moonblasted there he, He's only going to be willing to defog when the Skamri also gets up spikes Because he wants the rocks up with stall obviously Clefable having magic guard and fur resisting rocks is going to be nice Yeah Clefable is really nice in this matchup I think it's, it's Flamethrower Clefable. Knockoff Clefable would have been really nice here to get rid of the Violet on Chansey. Because if you get rid of the Violet on Chansey, like, it's gonna take a lot from stuff like Hydro Pump. And there's another game with Gondra in it.
Wait, is this World Cup? I don't know who Yumiri is. I know this is only stall and if the other games were also World Cup I should focus on the other game. Don't worry guys, I'll figure it out, I'll open the, the thread. In a bit, so... This um, Ferrosan is gonna force in the... Sable Eye... Or the Skarmory, either the Skarmory to defog or the Sable Eye to prevent the spikes from going up. I'm gonna be going to the forums real quick here and I want to find out if this Gundra game is for World Cup basically it just goes for power up that has a good chunk and Sevla is gonna go for recover here I mean, you can also go for knockoff, but you want this healthy, especially rocks up. Like, recover is just the safest player. Like, it's stall, you're not gonna risk anything. Mm -mm -mm. So now he's gonna go into Chansey slash Tangros. He can also be protect and be really annoying, stall a turn. But yeah, let me click on click on uh, World Cup of Pokemon. I don't like how shiny Glofable looks. What does the Heatran sub on? The Heatran only subs on the Sableye basically. It's kind of hard to get the heat tune in, but once you get the heat tune in, get up a sub on the Sableye, and like the Sableye, I think needs a super high roll to break the sub. Then you can basically fish frost, but death drops with off power, and if he switches to chance, you can poison, uh, like you can toxic wear it down. He said, "Go Spain." Is, is Marano Spain? So many questions, dude. Yeah, Gondra is a Latin America player, so. Uh, but I think he's talking about the Moreno guy. And he has Toxic, so he changed his Clefable set. And I don't think they have Heal Bell. I don't think that Stoltem has Heal Bell, because the, ch the chance he has um, Stealth Rock, Soft Boiled, Seismic Toss, and I think Toxic in the last slot. Not sure about the last slot. It could be, it could be Heal Bell. Yeah, it could be Heal Bell in the last slot. I could see that, because this. Um, this might be toxic, so it doesn't necessarily need toxic on another mon. Is there a fake letter on that Gondor game that I was watching? Oh yeah, he's... Wait, Gondor is using stall in that game? Yeah, I think that game is... Wait, there's mod join. Is this not World Cup? And he just forfeited. Oh my god, they were trolling. Get me out of here. That's not funny, dude. So yeah, he goes in the clef, uh, into Chansey. This makes me think that he might have heal bell. But he can just go for a lead sheet here, which is why he goes into Sable Eye. And he, oh, he has knockoff. Yeah, I think that was their on the original team. So the only change so far was. That he had Toxic or Flamethrower on this cliff. And CBU was Alcon started, so that is World Cup. So now we have two World Cup games at the same time, which is exactly what I didn't want. I didn't want this to happen at all. CBU bringing Principles Double Trappers. Alcon's bringing like a team that looks like something Jammet would use, to be honest. Jammet had like a Bishop over the. Never mind, he didn't have a bishop, that was his opponent. But he had like a Volcarona on the team, and I think something of the Landris, and the other ones were the same. Like the first team, and yeah, he had a Scarf Dagi and a Volcarona in these two slots. It's like the first team Jammet made in Sun and Moon. So 
Is he a scarf going to scarf Dougie if he's going to have a scarf? Uh... Jalcon switching out, fearing scarf, gunk shot. So you switching out, potentially fearing scarf, Coco. And not wanting to risk a hard doggy either in case the Coco U turns, which is understandable. Goes in the Mew breaking rocks of Quake. As in this game, the Pharaoh lost his leftovers to get some damage off on the Sableye. So they're playing really slow, so we can go back to the other game. <laughs> Mew burns the Landris. And he has forced, yeah, he's gonna go Hooper here, so the Mew can't defog for free. I mean, the Mew can't defog, but it's gonna take 5 million. But he goes hard grand, breaking a Dark Pulse. And it's nasty plot. I could see this being Z all out pummeling. I've seen that set a few times on a ladder. It can break through like AV Majorna. And it is. Z Why is he faster? What? What the fuck? What? What happened? So he just U turned and you gave him the Ash form. Oh, is, uh, does Snatch have priority or something? Or what did Snatch go first? Yes, it does. Asking why is it faster? You just did certain support moves. Yeah, it's speed plus two. It's priority, so it's basically so that you can still move. I think that it goes first. But yeah, it didn't work out at all. <laughs> so that's one of the few. Ash grins with U-turn, but yeah, I can. It's definitely um, understandable on this team because he has double trappers, and if he U-turns on a chance, he can potentially trap um, with Z Duggy, and he has taunt to prevent us from defogging or from rocking. Oh, he's oh he's clipped soft bolt. Um, <laughs> damn it, I misread. But he's gonna go for a recover here with his, his Sableye, switch out into Tangros, and this is a sub Landris. So I could see this being sub SD. Yeah, I, I mentioned that my version I had had like double rocks, but I think that was a mistake. I mean, I didn't steal it wrong. I literally saw the team had two rockers, but maybe that was not on purpose. So after he taunt this U turns out and he gets a feral thrown in. We see this is gonna be um, a little bit softball ice beam. I defog Mew. No, it doesn't have to be defog. It doesn't have to be defog. Cause he has a Mantine too, but I could see him having double defoggers, I guess. Not really sure. And he finally goes out into Magnus and gets knocked off. I assume this oh it's a salt vest, okay. And yeah, the lead sheet, if this has protect, it can be really annoying for the feral zone, but I assume it's gonna be power up, um and spikes, but he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't have protect exactly. He goes down. This is gonna be a quick game. Like we're gonna have this done in a few minutes, and the stall game will still be going on. Goes for U turn, predicting the Mantine switch. Doesn't wanna give CPU the defog. Uh, so predicting Mantine slash Mew. It's a slow volt switch out. Wow, he really predicted the U turn. That was a god. That was a godly play. Volting out, predicting U turn. Holy flip. But the Landers goes for SD, and um, the Z move. Landers is gonna put in some work. Um, this goes for HP eyes. Tangros, they're playing really slow. I love how the other game is going so much faster. So yeah, he has to fear a supersonic sky strike with his Tangros. But he goes out into Heatron breaking the Skarmory. And then that didn't work out, but... Uh, if this doesn't have an Earthquake, if this is for some reason... Yeah, if this is like... Um, Hidden Power Knockoff Sleep Powder Leech Sheet, then Heatron gets a free sub here. But if it has Earthquake, this is, and if it's AV, this is a bit annoying. I could see this being AV, because he has physical walls in Quagsire and Skarmory, but I'm not really sure. Goes for Magma Storm hard. I think I would have subbed first, in case he doesn't have anything to break the sub. I mean, he can go out into his Gren. Which would only be better if this is Scarf Coco. Yeah, I can understand this is a tough turn for CBU. Because his Magnuson already took damage and he vaulted out. So Magnuson's like the main thing that he couldn't switch into this. And yeah, this is kind of a tough turn. I can completely understand why he's taking so long here. But yeah, he can go for Toxic. I'm pretty sure he's gonna go for his sub now. 
We missed on Toxic uh, sub and then it's off power on the last slot. Yo, he's just going for off power first, fishing for Spadafro, but yeah, does have heal bell. I was saying in the TDK game earlier that this probably has Toxic in the last slot, but I didn't think that through clear because he has other monsters that can use Toxic like Quagsire. He doesn't need Toxic on Chansey. I mean, it's still understandable, like this is super passive and you. Some scenarios this is gonna be bad, but overall you can't just have a stall team. Like if your Sable gets burned, you can't just have a stall team without heal bell, you need that. That's just yeah yeah. Cause something is eventually gonna get status and it's really annoying. So he brings in a Dougie and he's scarf Dougie. So he was willing to take the risk that a Coco is scarf. I mean I get that play. And I'm wondering if this is Mega Gyarados like on the gem at team. This mining zone is gonna go down here to an earthquake. So Scarf Dougie. Is he gonna go for Stone Edge? What? Memento, okay. Because I was about to say Stone Edge is gonna bounce off his Megas. Nice play ding again. So he's a back at neutral uh, attack and plus two speed. But I'm not saying SPL stall is bad right now. This team Sohara and that why Dark we compared to SPL stall. They're just talking about the stall team. Um, I don't really want to break down the stall team. It's a bit disgusting. Um. So basically, he realized that he can't beat the Chansey because it has heal bell and he doesn't have taunt. So he switched out into Clef. The one for soft boiled. Um, Chansey went back into Skarmory on a Moon Blast and. Took some rocks and rooted it up. And Ladi comes out and can threaten something with a trick. Which, if the Sable has enough spadef to take Draco, it probably doesn't. Yeah, the Sable doesn't have enough spadef exactly because the rocks were up. But yeah, it goes for Toxic. And this is a free ruse for Skarmory. <laughs> a PD Goat. <laughs> Disgusting, dude. So he's gonna go on a Pinsir and hope that Pinsir can live a hit. Yeah, Pinsir should be able to live it if Mega evolves here. This game is uh, way more cooler than the other one. I can still can get over that Z snatch on the U-turn. I mean, it makes sense if it if it didn't have U-turn, Hooper would have lived. But he still would have probably gotten put in a quick attack range, I assume. Potentially, uh, leftovers Landros is gonna get tweet KO'd here. I don't think there's a point in switching. He's just gonna sack this uh, Landros to this pins here. Uh, yeah, CBU is on Team Greeks, Greece, and yeah, Alcans is on. I think he's on Latin America, yeah. And the light is gonna Draco Meteor here. So in this game, I assume he's just gonna roost up. Oh my lordy. He didn't use one softball yet and he still had full, that's the power of magic guard plus the leftovers. Back in the tramp thing. I don't know. So he sees Brave Bird, which is for Mega Heracross, okay? So I can see they are adapting. They're adapting, they made a new stall team that's a bit different. It can deal with Mega Heracross, I see. Some stall teams. Yeah, earlier in a TDK team, I thought. When I saw the TDK use this, I thought this could have been. Supersonic Sky Strike die because this looks so weak to Heracross, but yeah, Brave Bird on Scar makes also sense. Then it doesn't have to be Sky Strike, then it can be a Sash or Ground Yum. But yeah, he drawing his eight Magma Storms. I mean, he puts in some work, but I don't think it's gonna win. Goes in the Manta, and it should be able to take two Dracos because it's only Scarf. Yep, the minus two drop will a lot of Manta to roost off here as he's gonna go into his Landorus. Goes for Toxic, predicting the. Switch into Gyarados, I assume. And CBU is gonna roost up on U turn here. Oh, he toxic again. Stop making godly plays. Holy cow. So it's either Trick between Trick and Draco Meteor here. Draco Meteor did how much? It did 46. So yeah, it probably kills unless he gets a super low roll. Well, Corona, Dougie and Zadwa, Dougie 6 I think he's talking about the stall team. Because if you get rid of the chance, you will Corona probably runs through the 6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Zadwa too. We had that happen in another game earlier a little bit. Like, not 
Zadwa didn't actually win, but like he had a Zadwa with Dagi. But he had like that combination of monsters, what I was trying to say exactly. Yeah, we don't have to go through every specific sim, but I guess I can try. Brave Brother the Heatran, Magma Stomp the Chansey, back into Pharaoh on the softball, Force and Sableye Power Whip, so the Sableye has to take, had to take rocks and waste another cover. And. He just protected on the Moonblast, goes back into Skarmory as the Pharaoh comes back out. Yeah, Pharaoh's on losing leftovers is really annoying for Moreno. And yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna make the thumbnail. And he gets a low roll there on the Draco Meteor. Alcans gets a low roll. So the default goes off, which means the pincer is free now. And if he Dragos again here. Doesn't the pincer SD up on this now? Like, doesn't pincer SD here? Alcans said GG already, I think he lost. Oh well. I think CBU is 2 and 1. He lost versus Brofist in a super close game that came down to a roll. And I think he won versus Cicada. Yeah, he got double SD up. So that only has. That only had. The land only had HPIs to hit the pincer basically. And then the two SDs allowed it to kill the Lari with quick attack. And uh, Gyarados obviously drops to plus to return. And CBU picks up the win. For Team Greece, if I recall correctly, right? Over Latin America. So that was a fast one, and we will um, go back to the stall game. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be annoying to make the thumbnail. I'm probably not gonna put months in the thumbnail, just four names and four country logos, or like. Yeah, we're gonna be here for a while, but it's looking a bit tough for Moreno at the moment. If the chance he didn't have heal it would have been pretty nice. But I mean, what can you expect? A good stall team should have a heal bar, right? Like I said earlier. Oh, he misses a toxic, that doesn't help. Like, every single hex, little hex against him can pretty much, like, make the game go even more in PDC's favor and like the Pharaoh's one is so low the Pharaoh's one is so low he's never gonna let him lead sheet up he's always going Sableye I mean yeah he can double out predicting the Sableye but he will just go back into Skarmony or Chansey but I can kinda see the strategy behind this team he has double toxic and does have sub on his landers right he did show that earlier so it's like sub to help with the double toxic to like get some chip damage on mons, bring them to range for certain moves. Yeah, this is a disgusting team, like protect up. Hopefully we can get this done in the next 20 minutes. I don't wanna be here all night, I need to get some sleep in. I mean, I can see PDC staying in, but he, he's probably not gonna stay in. If he has enough but death, so that Moombas doesn't do like that much over half, I can see him staying in, predicting a double. And he does stay in, exactly. <laughs> I knew he would do that eventually. And there we are, said PDC is so good. <laughs> so you can sub up here. Cause you don't want to lose your left or was on a heat run. I mean, sometimes my net helps me. Like, it basically kind of says you have to stop now. You have to like chill out. You, you need to stop recording months. <laughs> like sometimes my net dies at like 2am, that would be in 3 hours from now. Yeah, he does get the knock. 
on a cliff, which is like you already knocked off the fur on a cliff, no? And Hedrin still has lefties, but the rocks are gonna like counteract that. Yeah, if Hedrin had taunt, as said this a few times, it could put in work with the chance here earlier when he had it trapped, but yeah. Because then it couldn't have gone for heal or soft boiled. But this way I don't see. <laughs> It's really tough to prep for stalls, so you're just clicking like some buttons now. You basically break the PDC to protect because he kept doing that and he didn't want to waste the moon by his PP and Rox is like enough PP. Dude, if they're gonna play this out and it comes down to some PP stall war, this is, oh, this is so AIDS. Like I can't just stop the recording, right? Because I switched between the two games. I can't just stop in the middle of this game. I just hope... They finish before another World, game get, World Cup game starts. That would be sad if I miss another game because of this stall fest. Um, I mean, I think it's only gonna take like 20 or 30 minutes. And I think PC has it. And the opponent is gonna forfeit, but I thought that I, I've um, thought that one play had the game multiple times and the opponent somehow turned it around. <laughs> So let's not speak too soon. I mean, yeah, that's nice chip, rocks plus brave, bro. Like, basically, PDC decided we're playing this with rocks on both sides. A really nice play breaking the chance again for toxic. But I chance he can just go for softball here since it doesn't have taunt. Pharaoh will never get a lead seat since the sailor is there. The PDC decided um, I can't keep rocks off on my field because it has he has rocks clef. So we will just play with rocks on both sides. What he decided, yep. I agree with that. Like he decided that a while ago, but I'm just trying to like at least say something about this game. It's like kind of not. It's kind of hard to say something about those type of games. <laughs> like it's not not only is it like stall versus bookie events like bookie events is fine to watch for me but i don't like watching stall obviously like not many people like watching it like not not only is he using stall it's also taking quite his time but i can understand you don't want to You don't want to misplay. Like you still want to think you play through even if you're using stall. I mean, Moreno's making some nice doubles here and there, but does it really help him? I mean, this is gonna roost again. Once this is out, once this is out of magma storms, it's actually gonna be gonna become set up for for Skamri for spikes. Um, but I'm actually not sure if the Oh my god, there's another World Cup game. Orius vs. Toxin. It's Team Germany, I have to see that. Oh my god, look at this team. This boy brought Mach plus Cartana. That's like a flashback to yesterday. Eternal played yesterday. And he had a Cure in Black and a Cartana and a Greninja on the same team. And a Lando, so it's four of the same ones. No idea which team Toxin is on. But maybe he's on Eternals team because the team kind of looks like Eternals. But yeah, Ori is on Team Germany. Obviously rooting for him, I'm German. If you guys didn't know, some of you might not know if you're a new subscriber. Chansey was obviously softballing there. As you know, Magnus Dumb Recall, stuff like that. And this is just gonna become like a PP stall fest thing. Gen um, switches out, gets the natural cure. Like, he still has 30 rocks. Yeah, we're gonna be here for a while. We're gonna watch this game instead. So let me try to analyze the teams. Assume it's gonna be Zimov Landorus on Aria's team. But I mean I can also see Zimov on on Keldio if the Good Ninja is Scarf, but I'm leaning more towards uh, Zimov Lando. And on the opposing team I assume 
This could be heavy with Rock Slide to check Volcarona. With Scarf Katana then. I think uh, Ashgren. Default Mew to support the Cure with Will O Wisp and. Psychic or Volt Switch, I assume. So either with the Kyurem, Grunja basically doesn't have anything to kill this. Unless he gets like Rock Slide Flinch. But if this is Sub Zero Slammer, I'm kinda expecting it to be Sub Zero Slammer. It's a big threat if it has. If he plays it correct. Like, the only. Switch in that always has to sub zero slam as a heat train because it four times resists. Like two times resists don't matter when you go for sub zero slam. That, that move is strong. But even if he goes in the heat train predicting the sub zero slam, he just predicted the ice move in general. Now okay, we see it's life up Kiro. So the Z move will either be I assume on the land or Cartana, and I think the lander would be. I mean the lander is obviously a rocker. But I think the Z move could be on this. Like, I'm leaning towards the Z move is on this. So, this is kind of tough. Is he gonna go kill you? Because, like, you can fusion ball and predict that. Yeah, he could have fusion ball there, but he just goes for off power in case the he turn. wants to stay in and so he brave, but let's talk about this TDC game. He's just gonna roost up, I assume. He turn is gonna talk 6 slash Magma Storm. If ever comes back in, soft bolt switch out, take some damage from Moonblast and Rocks, soft bolt, Moonblast, Roost, disgusting. But I call you decently, eat set up, double without breaking the Mew. So I assume this is, like just from what I've seen, always use. I think last time used the Ashgren, so I think this is going to be Ashgren again. Uh, if not, if not, it's um, probably in U-turn. Yeah, probably in U-turn is another option. And if he breaks the Willow Wisp, he can U-turn out on the Heat Churn. If he breaks the knockoff, he can U-turn out on the Z movement. But he is Spikes Ash Gun Choice Specs. So that makes me think he's a choice scarf. Keldeo, he has a Mega Mawile. Did I say Landros is a rocker? He could also be Rocks this or this. No no, I think Rock Landros is still the rocker, I think, yeah. This is a pain. Dude, there were like more plays made in the other game than in this one. Again, like I don't know why they're playing so slow. But I just want to record one game, but there's like games that go over and mold in, into each other. Like it's yeah, it's just a pain. It's also kind of impossible to cut that into multiple videos, cause yeah, I started with that stall game. Then went over into a different game, and I can't just end off after the when the story game is still going on. And there's another one game that I also record. The moral is pretty free here, so I assume he's gonna pursue or or double into um, Landorus predicting the moral. He does double into Mew though. Mew is also a nice player. It gives him a defog slash Willow Wisp. Probably not gonna whisk because there's a trend. It's probably just gonna defog on knockoff, yeah. I mean, knockoff is not that common in, in Sun and Moon on Mew, but you still see it sometimes. I think Cory used it earlier on with his blunder. And if this is a sub trend, he just goes for Magma Storm Heart. That does a lot. I assume it's offensive for sure. I mean, most Magma trends run uh, sp some special attack. Not all around Max special attack. The brave puts again, switches into Chansey, Toxic. Chansey gets back the rock, so I assume someone defogged. Who defogged? We'll figure that out real quick. Okay, so he defogged with the Skarm on turn 62, so four turns ago. I mean, Clef is just gonna set up the rocks eventually back for Moreno. Room is locked in, which means he can't double. I can see him fusion bolting here, breaking the Kelt slash. I mean, he doesn't want to lose the Heatran. The Heatran is nice for the Mew. 
goes hard into Grand. So yeah, I would have thought about Fusion Ball and breaking the Keld. He did go Grand, but Fusion Ball just would have been the Lord play there. Like I don't think he was staying in with the trend. He was either going to hit um, Tangles and try to pivot a bit more, or he was trying to go Grand Orlando. Like Lando, if he breaks off power, if he's that confident, Grand if he predicts. I think more off power too. Yeah, that works. Oh lord. And he gets a crit, which sucks. Because this is gonna be a roll to kill now. And. Curum is at 10%, so it can't live another one. Like, the Curum has been. Take, has taken a lot of life up damage, and. The Magma Storm also did a ton from the Heatran. It's a max attack assault with head has. Yeah, so rocks go back up like I said. I'm really sure why even defog the defox again. I mean he should get some leftovers, he's gonna magma slash toxic. Wow this game's this game makes me wanna f <laughs> go to sleep, holy cow. I mean, I guess it's cool in a sense if I record all the games in one video, then I have them all done and I can chill out soon. Clef throws them back up, he's gonna defog slash ruse. But yeah, this turn is getting healthier now, so Moreno is slowly finding a little bit back into the game, but he only has 5 magma storms and 10 toxics, so yeah, I'm not sure. I think he's just gonna get PP stored. He doesn't wanna risk the roll, sl roll slash the miss. Goes into Landers and he gets the Poison Touch, which is um, Reverse Hex because he just got crit. I assume he's gonna go for his Rocks here. Yup. And Toxin is gonna go... If I'm Toxin, I would go for my Rocks or I would U-turn. But he goes for Hidden Power Eyes. That's exactly why I wouldn't go for Hidden Power Eyes. I would either U-turn break in the switch or I would go for Rocks. So he gains something out of the turn. I mean, can I, I can understand that he wants to defog, but still. Looks one nice there. If you really just want the momentum, just click U turn if you have it. This reminds me kind of Finch's team. Like, Finch had a team, but it's, I guess it's like a mix of both teams. Like, Finch's team had a Muck, had then, and then it had a Mawile, Tangros, Landros, so basically those three months and that one from that team. I remember the last two months, honestly. I think it was a guard champ, yeah, and I don't remember the sixth. So he shows U turn, probably Scarf Grin. Which makes me think he doesn't have rock stats, so he's probably knock off Poison Jab. Uh, Pursuit, and then either Shadow Sneak or. I don't know what else would you want to mark if you don't have rock stats. Fire Blast, Fire Blast is an option. But yeah, he's gonna be bringing out. Oh, he's muck. I thought it would be going into something else. Yes, yeah, I did get interrupted. So I'll try to talk a little lower because someone's going to sleep. And it's some eternal spirit performance. What are they talking about? Oh, yeah, Curum KO'd every month, but zero KOs. Thank God Kyurem be switched into Heatran, yeah lol. Oh yeah, I forgot he brought it on the Heatran and then he got brought really down by Magma Stumpers, the recall and stuff. So we do see he's not Hypercar, he misses a player off, which is a bit annoying. Our leftovers Landers makes a lot of sense at the moment with HPIs. It's like a pseudo ground resist, like it's sort of switching for Bandit Thousand Arrows. Goes for Hidden Power Ice, predicting um, Aureus to pivot into Landris on an Earthquake. It's just actually, maybe he just predicted the AV tank and he wanted to get damage off. Because he can't double, because U turn is just a bust move. So he can just get the damage from HP Ice and then U turn out afterwards. Kind of sack off the muck here. But he gets it in on the Hidden Power, which is really clean, so he lives there. I mean, it's not clean, because I want Aureus to win. <laughs> okay, what happened in the other game? 
Grin got in, double into Clef. Just switching around, kind of wasting his PP because he's spamming um, Protect and Recover. Now he just stayed in eventually and got rid of, at least he got rid of the specs. So he can recover, he can live any hit as long as he doesn't get flinched or critted. He goes for Pursuit, catches Aureus there, gets rid of the f um, Tangros. Man, this is hard to analyze, especially when you get interrupted on top of being tired in two games at once. But yeah, it's still fine. Hope you like. Hope you guys appreciate me. Like, <laughs> I know I'm repeating myself some videos, but like, he goes for water shrink. He doesn't want to potentially get um, poisoned by a shadow sneak. Like the ability for Mug can poison you with like contact moves. Basically, you guys notice. So yeah, Water Shuriken doesn't kill from this range and he's gonna go for Scarf U-turn here. And either get a kill on this or grab momentum. But this is still nice to keep for Aureus. He's probably gonna go Keldeo here or Keldeo or U-turn. I think Keldeo is the play. <laughs> so did we see, does he get flinched? He does not get flinched and this is, yeah, this is looking pretty easy's favor now. But yeah, we're gonna focus on this game. <laughs> Ashgun should be banned. Like he's 100% U-turn, there's no doubt in my mind. The thing is, if you're always, what do you want? Like, what do you want to keep out? That definitely influences what you want to go to here. What you want to send out. You can um, basically keep out the Mew. But the Mew is not that big of a deal, so I don't think you would go in the turn here. So he goes in a higher pump. Wow, I thought he would have U turn 100%. Wild. Wait. Did I say he's Scarf? I could swear that I saw he's... I could swear, like... I could bet... I think I have, like, hallucinations. Is that correct English? I could swear that he, that I saw Protein Greninja. But he's Ash. Yeah, I think I'm on some drugs. I really need sleep. <laughs> when I saw U-turn, I, I just saw Protein. I just saw it, Protein. But I, I, I thought I saw a really nice double switch into Greninja. Because the Keldeo baits in the Mew. Mew resist Secret Sword, Mew also could take Scald and Hydro Pump and Mew could also defog, so that was a really nice play. And yeah, always taking advantage of the rocks being up. Doesn't lose and he doesn't lose anything from clicking Dark Pulse here, this is a free Dark Pulse. So he is just going for this flinch and he gets it once, does he get it again? And he misses a Hydro Pump, oh my lord. That must feel that feels so bad when you get the flinch and then you miss the pump right after, but <laughs> it happens. Back in the Skarma Toxic. This is running out of roost soon. The Brox. Evox again, he's just going to try to get lefties and he just goes back hard to Clive once them rocks back up. So this is gonna go for protect or some bullshit. <laughs> oh I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> but it's just repetitive. He goes back into Skarm. You just click Toxic there, because Toxic, basically, if you Toxic yourself, it doesn't matter. Because of Magic Guard. And I don't think he has T Wave or anything, because the main reason you would um, want to Toxic yourself is so you can't get T Waved. But yeah, let's so see what happens in this game. This Landers is gonna get blown away, this might just die. It lived on 12, okay. But it's left over, so it gets 2 KO'd, obviously. Now he goes into his own and he's gonna click Water Shuriken. Oh, he goes for Pump! Holy cow, this guy's wild. I guess... I guess he knew that Aureus wasn't staying in there. And I think this might be able to live um, a Dark Pulse from opposing Ash Greninja at 64. Yeah, I could see that. 
And last time Aureus doubled into Ashgren on the on the Mew. I think this time he's just gonna stay in Secret Sword. But it is kind of 50-50. This just played safe and gonna Mew. And yeah, this time he just attacks. Double again, that would have been Savage Beast. <laughs> and Gren the Grand Counter. <laughs> yeah, you know Gren is stupid when Gren is the Grand Counter, yeah. So what happens here? Who's blah blah blah? Rocks Devog. He trying to get small FDs. Clef. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> Damn! Imagine this still had leftovers. It would be so healthy. So this is gonna get a Defog. Oh, oh, he can double out into Cartana. I assume there's a Scarf Cartana. That's the only reason to make that play. Otherwise, you just die to Dark Pulse. And now he has to predict between. No, I think he's just gonna go for Sacred Sword, yeah, he doesn't have to predict. Damn, this, this Germany game is intense. I mean, yeah, Cartana obviously gets ogled by Pump. I don't know why you even asked that. Like, Cartana has piss bruise with death. Now, yesterday, Cartana won. It's not scar it's not scarf, that crit didn't matter. Nice, let's go team Germany. They melted. I mean that that crit probably killed three or four katanas. <laughs> okay, I'm a bit exaggerating or however you say that. Man. Thank you PC for making this video so long with your stall team. Like I would have split every game in one video it's like way easier like people can choose which game they want to watch but in between it's just wild but i know some people don't like it like if it's multiple um games in one video but i just like i just want to see the games for myself like every single game especially when my t i mean it's not my team i'm not on team germany but it's my country so i want to see team germany obviously and the other game was also pretty cool and quick between cbu and Al alcons so I'm gonna have to put six flags and six names in. I don't know if that will even fit in the in the thumbnail, good lord. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I thought he was Scarf Katana and he would go for Sacred Sword and kill it. They would have put in the work. Yeah, I wanted to call how much Ashgren does to Ashgren and oh, there's the dodge. <laughs> so Saxa trend the dodge didn't matter. And now is the all game the game deciding 50-50 is here. Um I just secret sword again. He's gonna expect you to double this time, so I'll just secret sword. Trust me, he's gonna stay in. Please stay in <laughs> and see if it's him. He switched F. And he, oh, he went for Iron Pump, Lord. Makes the correct play there. Makes the correct play, definitely. So he just has to hit this pump. Let's go. Don't miss, dude. We got this team Johnny, we can go for two. Or you, because I'm not on the team myself. Just rooting for them. <laughs> I think I already said it, yeah. Multiple times, holy cow. Man, I can't look, I have to close my eyes. We're gonna see what happens here. Yeah, that's still stall for, it's still six versus six, good lord. Thankfully the game earlier with TTK there. Where Stall was involved, it didn't take that long. Goes into Greninja on the Willow Wisp. So he was either predicting a softball there in case. In case he would have dodged, he would have softballed it or wisp, okay. That's a nice play going Gren. Dark Pulse should kill the opposing Greninja after Rock, so he gets a kill here. Yeah, I don't know why we're supposed to play, that's correct. Why wisp, 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 why
He lost anyway. Yeah, I mean, if he softballed, he died anyway to dark bolts. Hmm, I don't think it mattered. Yes, Scarf Kill, you picks up the win here, even if. Like, Water Shuriken can kill this. Or he can win his speed with dark pulse, but. This is Scarf Kill, you right? I'm not sh that insane. Yep, and Ori wins the 1 0, narrow 1 0. Nice game. Whew. Let's go, Team Germany, so. Yeah, intense one. Germany is 1 1 1. No, Germany is 4 2. Ori is 1 1 now, basically, is what I meant to say. Yeah, I don't know if Kill took a pump from that range and was at. Okay, they said pretty sure it did. Okay, okay, they're all saying it did. The 60 max. Oh, yeah, it's at 62, obviously. I should look at the health bar. Like, obviously, it takes a pump from there. Okay, we are turn 113. I'm not gonna watch every single turn of this game. Like, it's basically like rocks going up, repeated. Like he's setting up rocks all the time. Then he's defogging them away. Then he's clicking some re recovery moves with his stall team here and there. <laughs> How many PP does he have left? Look at this. Still 16 defogs. He's probably gonna go chancy here. And the cliff he goes. Goes in a Chang was okay, so he was predicting Hydro Pump I guess. But how healthy is the Chansey? The Chansey is healthy, I don't know why I didn't go to that. Um, I guess Tangles was a mid ground play. In case he wanted to go Landorus, I can understand it, yeah. But what if this Landorus is Sky Strike? I guess he can still try to play around that if the Landorus came out. I don't even remember like all the sets from this game. Because I was skipping between the games you guys saw, right? Damn, 53 minutes long recording. Why is it always when Aureus plays the Deathlink multiple games? I remember when I recorded SPL where he played, there was like also three. I also recorded like three games in one video. And there was also one long game, but it was like balance versus balance. It took like, I don't know, 220 turns. But why do you do this to me? <laughs> I mean, it's a lot of fun recalling World Cup, but. <laughs> I've had enough after this one. Like, I hope there's no more games, and I'll be back with more content tomorrow. Um, I won't be. Yeah, this video will probably be up last, so hmm. there's not really a point in saying that I won't upload all the videos that I recorded at one day because this will go up after all the others anyway. I like to upload the games in order. Oh, my, my computer is about to die, one sec. Thank the lord I caught that. A team with no breaker versus PTC. <laughs> I mean, this team has a little bit of potential versus stall, but yeah, it's it's not enough, it seems, yeah. Sardis had a chance to break stall, but Rox is not enough. Hmm. That was outbreaking something, I don't really know. He keeps making the mid-ground play of Tangoros. But yeah, let me just upload this uh, updated candle game real quick. So you guys get some more content to watch. Good lord. I mean the discovery is gonna be <laughs> gonna run out of defog eventually. 12 defox versus 18 rocks left. Okay, so someone is asking if you can win the PP stall. 
dude. If it comes on the PP stall and goes to like the 1000 turns, I'm I'm telling you guys I'm out of turn 500 if they're still playing. No, actually I'm, I'm out of turn 300. I'm not recording longer than till turn 300. Like I blame... <laughs> I don't know, blame PDC if it's still going at turn 300. <laughs> oh, my, my net might actually die in like one or two hours if they're still playing. Sometimes my net dies at uh, like 1 or 2 am. Tangy set up completely. Leftovers, I think this is like mixed defensive tangos. What notification did I get here? <laughs> Dennis, Dennis commenting on my video. Yeah, PDC doesn't have enough debugs, that's true. But this is just, if it comes down to PB War, it's just gonna be so boring, like holy cow. I mean, not that this game hasn't been boring. Like, it's literally set up rocks, get rid of rocks. Like, can somebody tell me how I can make this entertaining? Blunder could probably make this entertaining, but... Yeah, usually when there's like stall versus... Some team that tries to break stall. Oh my lord, PDC the god. He had enough, he went hard Sableye on the rocks. Yeah, usually I like have something to uh, like talk when there's like stall with a stall. No, not stall with stall, but a, a long game going on with um, one person using stall. But when it's like changing between games, and I don't know like exactly what is going on because I didn't see every turn. I mean, I obviously kind of know what's going on, but. It's different if I watch every single turn or if I just skip between games. Like then it would be at least a little bit easier if I saw the entire game. <sighs> How many knockoffs knock do you have? Oh god lord, 28. But he's going low on recovers. So Sable has um, been coming quite a few times on Stealth Rocks and Power Whips, I think. And the first one almost died in the process. Like, the first one almost also had just those leftovers and had to take, I think, Rock Switch ins multiple times. And it was never able to get over Lead Sheet. Thanks to the Broken Magic Bounce ability. I mean, I don't really know if Broken is the correct word here, but it's like... Mm, it's pretty much really good Magic Bounce, let's say, let's put it that way. Is this guy you stole every Sun and Moon game now? I hope not. I'm gonna stop recording if they do that. I mean, if they at least would use different stores, but they're the same. But. <laughs> Yeah, if the store will be spammed or like used multiple times, yeah, you guys can get ready. It will be in the forums probably eventually after this tour, like after World Cup. I know someone will post it. <laughs> Don't use this shit on letter, please. <laughs> Damn, PC just playing risky now, staying in, making the reads. I think he's gonna rocks again here. But yeah, if PTC stays in on the correct turn, that will cost a Moreno a uh, Stealth Rock PP pretty much. And if he can play it perfect, he will have enough Defox left so that Moreno never gets up rocks. And then it's basically gonna be a disgusting PP war that no one wants to see. Yeah, this is this is literally um, how to destroy my video. I mean, it's my fault. I was uh, clicking record when I saw it all, but I really didn't think it would take that long. Good lord. You guys know if the, um, if the recording ends at some point, it's because of my it's because my internet crashed. 
Oh, I fell asleep. Oh my lord, PC has the balls of steel, he just stays in. I mean, that's at least something I like if you play aggressive with stall. I mean, it's kind of 50 50, so like, you have to get it. Like, you have to get it correct a lot. Moreno can't really switch because, like, then he has to take rocks and something. Clevis is only Magic Ammon. If Moreno had to, like,. A Toxapex, and then then he could just switch between Toxapex and Clefable, and we would be here. We would still be here in six hours as he go stays in again. PC literally doesn't care. He either doesn't care or is he's super lord. He breaks him. He's just in his head every turn. Yup, we made it over one hour already. Whew. So I'm actually gonna try to figure out if there's any other games after this. I don't think I can handle more games. Probably record like eight games today, maybe seven. Yeah, I think eight. I mean, this is already this is three in one video, so maybe it was even nine or overall. This is why you run flamethrower cliff. Yeah, I thought it was flamethrower. Yeah, knock off all would have been nice for PP and getting rid of chances of violate. What is toxic for? Is there for something specific? It's probably for um Tangrowth. But yeah, that would have worked out versus balance. But not versus stall that has healable support. And other options to play around at this class. Like it's not he's not forced to go into tank on this. Yeah, see it's the death sable is why he's there and he's gonna protect here switch. Oh he only has two protects left. Yeah, Moreno had enough. CDC was a little not CDC, PDC. <laughs> Don't watch Star with a star when you're tired, you like it's gonna kill your brain cells trust. <laughs> I don't know if they'll do that again tomorrow that they, that they play so many games in a row. <laughs> I might have to start uploading my games without thumbnails and uh, re add the thumbnails later on because they literally didn't give me time between the games earlier. I couldn't even make thumbnails. Oh my god, PTC just doesn't care. I mean I can complete I can understand this play. At the same the goal. Like he, he just he's just making risky plays and it's working. Yeah, most ladder players would have switched there, I think. Cause like Moreno knows that if he moves there like he knows that PTC knows if he moves there, Saber is gone and the game is pretty much in Moreno's favor then. Like then he actually has a good shot of winning. Oh my fucking god. That might have been one of the turns that... Like that turn could have decided the game if he just clicked Moonblast there. But he predicted... Um, pretty see the switch. Wow. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't know if I would have had... I don't know if I would have uh, been able to make that Lord play and stay in there. Why is the Sable like countering a Clefable? I mean, he's running low on Moonblast, that's the thing too. How many Devox does Scam have? I think like uh, 10. We're basically gonna go to the to the schedule here to see if there's any other games. I mean, not every game is on the schedule. You know, oh yeah, the the, the iPro game is today. So please finish your game fast, PC. Put Dark which is recording. Yeah. Dude, I don't know what to tell you about this game.
Dude, this is a fucking special. Three games in one. <laughs> Dude, uh, if you guys watch this till the end, um, yeah, you're insane. If you watch the entire video, props to you. Yeah, PC is actually in this guy's head. Cause they, I can understand where Moreno is coming from. Cause. Like, usually, oh my god, there's a crit, he just had enough of the Sableye thing. Like, usually you would expect the... Uh, man, I'm, I can talk clearly. And if he asked me if he can be my recording, don't interrupt me, I'm trying to think. Like, PC has been staying for so long. You just know that he will switch out eventually. So this is actually getting interesting. How many Moombas does he have left? Four. Add actually Moombas again because PDC has shown that he's insane. Like, <clears throat> PDC might pr predict you to go for Toxic here. He might predict you to go for Toxic here and just click Recover and say let's risk it once again. Okay, he just goes for protect. So I got that wrong, but yeah, he also moonblasted. Also, I also moonblasted. Yeah, like I, I would say, like, stop it, PDC. I've had enough. Okay, so now everyone thinks this is the turn where the saber I would switch, <clears throat> and he's gonna try to bring the saber in on the double switch later, and he does switch. And yeah, Zomo versus Lefty is playing today. Oh god, please, please stop the stall. Please hurry up and finish this game. Man, I wish he just killed that fucking Saber and the game would have been over. I wonder if I go shower and come back. If it will still be 6 and 6. Probably not. So I'm gonna take my time to see. I'm gonna take my time and look up which team Moreno is on. I think he's on, like it sounds Spanish to me, but you know, we will look it up. If they give us the time, if there's nothing happening in the game, like nothing interesting. My computer had enough of this game, he starts lagging, JK, it's work, is it? I think it's working again. It was lagging for like a few sec uh, two seconds. I feel like this game will break in the next 50 turns, about 50 turns. Um, I really hope so. Oh, he meant the br oh, he meant the game will break as in the as in that showdown will crush or the thing will like hang up. No, I don't think that will happen. Uh, Moreno, I mean. Where's the search thing? Moreno, which team are you on, Maji? He is on Team Italy, so I got that completely wrong. Why the fuck did I think he was on Spain the entire time? What am I smoking? Team Italy is 5 1 at the moment, they're doing really well. Uh, they're doing really good, I don't know what the correct term is. My my English not not really good at the moment. <laughs> Why am I talking like that? Holy shit. Clef uh, running low, <clears throat> okay, not low, but the race is high at softball. So basically, PDC's goal is gonna be get the Clefable run out of Moonblasts because then Sable heals for free on Clefable. And another option is, like I said earlier, bring in the. I think the Sable outsped the Ferrothorn, right? Because if the Sable outsped the Ferrothorn, yeah, I'm not sure. I haven't paid attention to those earlier turns and I'm not gonna um, rewatch turns because this game is disgusting. But if Sable has been Pharaoh, you can try and get it in on a double. <laughs> I 
Zomu plays tonight. Yeah, well, um, you better wait till this game is over, cause I ain't trying to. Oh my fucking god! How does he do it? That boy just said hard save. Uh, like I knew he would eventually do that, but like, what the fuck, dude? I mean, there was no way he was moonblasting there, cause he only has two left. Dude, I was just. I had that in the back of my head. I was just about to talk about that. I swear. So. It basically what I was um, trying to say it's literally super hard for Moreno to get the turns correct when PDC will go into his save like cause eventually he will be wild and do that play and he just made it like way earlier than I expected like how would you get that specific turn correct at Moonblast and that specific turn like what that's impossible dude unless you like a psychopath <laughs> Not unless you like know what which but which button he clicked and you like you have like a camera in his house, I don't know. <laughs> oh my lord, he just said PDC risked the disable so much. He just said I had I've had enough. You watch PDC go back into Sableye and get moon blasted here. It's the last moon blast. I mean PDC is not gonna do it, but like Watch, watch, that would be fire if you move by and he goes really in the saber. Nah, I don't think there's a world. I don't think he's ever clicking moon but he only has one left. So he's oh my lord, this is gonna be so tough for him. So he has like the next 100 turns is gonna be him trying to get that turn where PTC is gonna go back into Sable. PTC might not even go back into Sable, who knows? But he actually, wow, he's actually able to keep rocks off so far. Yeah, I think he's just gonna go for rocks again here. Oh my fucking god, I just told you, what if he moonblasts there? I fucking told you. I mean, I didn't say I would've made the play, but like... I just I just told you I wanted to see moonblast and wanted PC to go sable and this game to be over. My lord. I think he might stay in here. Just Moonblast, trust, he's staying in. He's staying in Break the New Rocks. Trust me. Oh, I'm actually not sure. <laughs> it's easy to say as a viewer. Okay, I would have gotten it wrong. Oh my fucking god, PC the gold! Now it's actually game over, yeah. Because Sable heals for free on this. That was insane, like, like you gotta give PTC some respect, like how he played that. Death or Rocks, Fable that is supposed to scare Sable out, but still there's only Rocks on the side of the Fable's player and not on the Sableye player's side. And the Sable is alive and he stole out the Clefable, everything on Moonblast is insane. Dude, if I find out that I'm not recording my voice, um, I'm, I'm gonna be mad and just throw this recording in the trash can. Because it's already 74 minutes in. There's a chance he gets a free softball here. Um, yeah. Would be nice if the guy could forfeit in a few turns, because, um... He's going for freezes, okay, he's going for freezes, I see. I mean, he has to go for Hex, so what's his win condition at this point? <laughs> if Moreno could film just the rest of his moves, he wins. <laughs> Freeze, I believe in you. But yeah, my computer was lagging a bit earlier. If you're watching this, easy. Nah, easy doesn't even watch my videos. <laughs> Maybe he watches like one of out of hundred of my videos. He said he wants to be in my video. I'm not opening my Discord and risking that my computer will start lagging again. So 
Let me toss a spam and he tried to like get arm bobs on Chansey. Oh, he can actually get. Yeah, if the Tangus wasn't there and if he. No, never mind. For some reason, I thought he killed the Sable. I forgot that he got immaculately outmaneuvered. That had something on it. Did I mention that earlier? Yeah, this, this, this wrap, is, wrap it up. Forget what I said. Like earlier, I said, like if he ever got. I mean, you guys know this. If he ever got it correct. Wait, Ricardo versus value. Oh, I think that's oh, Ricardo versus value. This guy is iPro and he's trolling. iPro is trolling and he brought fucking stall. You can't just do this. You can't just do this. Yeah, I think it's uh, I think he's iPro. Yeah, this is disgusting. So um he's playing for United Kingdom. Uh, I think value is for France. I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. My lord, still watching one stall game. That boy said, Let's load up another one. Do you guys remember me saying, I hope there's no other game before this one ends? Of course, they don't listen to him. Like, he said, GG, he forfeits. Thank you guys for watching. I have no words. Peace out. Peace the god. Unstoppable. And we will be back with the next game.